In this smart board tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to create an activity where students will come up to the board and categorize certain objects or numbers or shapes or whatever items you want to categorize. For example, if I were teaching science and we're talking about three different types of volcanoes, I've created three different categories up here and now and then down below I added a bunch of descriptions of these three volcanoes and so if I'm looking at a center cone and I know center cones are usually small and I drag this item up to it it'll disappear and I get it correct it's also steep sided however if I am a student I drag this gentle slope up here it'll just bounce it back it won't accept the answer Okay, and so now you can have your students come on up and demonstrate their knowledge on their ability to describe whatever category again that you want. So this is how you set it up. Start a new page. First thing I did is I'm going to come over here and I created three different shapes. In this case I just want one. For this time I'm just going to go two of them. Um, then I went to the fill effects because I kind of want to, I filled it with an image before, but you can do gradient, we'll just do gradient this time. And so I'm going to click on the shape, I'm going to give it a gradient fill, click on this shape, give it a gradient fill. Okay, then. I'm going to go ahead and type, um, let's go prime numbers versus non-prime. Okay, and drag these up on in there. Then what I'm going to do is group these. Okay, so I highlight those and I hit Control G on the keyboard. Highlight those two, hit Control G on the keyboard. And then we are pretty much set and ready to go. So now down here, you're just going to type in a bunch of different numbers. Now right over here, we're going to use the activity builder. It looks like a puzzle piece. So we're going to click this puzzle piece. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and select an object, and now you'll notice that over here we've got this edit button. So I'm going to click the edit, and then I'm going to drag any number that is a prime. Got my seven. Now, once I'm all done with uh, putting my primes in there, I'm going to actually say add all remaining on the reject these items these objects so I'm going to say add all the remaining you'll notice that it threw this non-prime box in there that's because it's part of the ones that's remaining we're going to go ahead and drag this down to the garbage can and now I should have just all a bunch of even and odd numbers that are non-primes sitting in this box then I click done I'm going to do the exact same thing for this non-prime. I'm going to click the edit button. And I'm going to drag all the non-primes. Okay, and when I'm done dragging all the non-primes, I'm going to come down here and say add all remaining again. Make sure I got them right. I'm going to drag this box down here, get rid of it because I don't want it as part of my categorizing activity. I'm going to click done. I'm going to click on my boxes again and hit edit because I want to show you that you can actually have a little fun with this. So right now I have it when accepted objects play, I could fade them out, I could fly out, I could snap to the center, I could spin. Okay, so if we come in here and say spin um, and it's a prime number the number seven would just kind of spin around 
Also, this bottom is um, bounced back, comes out if, if I'm incorrect. One of the neat features that you can do is add a sound to all your objects if you want. That way, if you're right, you get one sound. If you're wrong, you get the other sound. Okay? So when we're all done, we're going to click this Done button. We're going to now start our activity by hitting the Identity identify button which is going to start the activity my students will come up to the board and probably have a little race who can put in all the numbers the quickest and you can see that again if I put 15 up here I'm incorrect you can see that when I put the 2 up here it does spin I actually don't like it that way because I like the fact that they just disappear so it doesn't look so cluttered in there like the non-prime numbers and that is all there is to it to reset your to reset the activity you just say reset all and you get to start over with the next group or next class however you set it up